Welcome back everyone, I'm the Depressed Dior, and this is Cthulhu Saves the World. Alright, well apparently we went the right direction, so let's go do some backtracking just to make sure we didn't miss any chest. We don't have to worry about any random encounters because I killed them all in the last uh, video, so... All we gotta do is do some boring wandering around. It's not that boring, it's just boring for you, or for you guys. Yep, there it is. Another chest. Radiant Dress. Radiant Dress gives an additional 50 MP, which is actually pretty useful. And it's completely focused on magic. While the Hot Dress is focused on strength. Hmm. I'll go ahead and take it. Yeah, it lowers her strength, but that's alright. I think that's everything. Yeah, I think we're good. And you guys get to hear like the full soundtrack of this place. So I mean it's not too soft. Alright, next floor. chest there, so just loop around, I guess. Except I keep finding dead ends. That's a circle. I'm pretty sure it's a circle. Yeah, it is. Pretty sure that's a dead end there. I'll go ahead and check it. It's not like I got anything else to do in this place. Yeah, we're good. Okay, there's the chest. Four potions. Not that useful. Okay, another chest there. And I believe this leads to where I need to go, so let's go this way. That's a dead end. And that's a circle. Alright, we'll go the other way then. We gotta figure out a way to get to that chest. I fail utterly in doing so. Well, there's the boss chest, so I'll see if we can find a way to that other one. Guess we have to backtrack further. a dead end. See if I can suck a little bit less in the in finding these things.
There we go. Get our sword. Enemies are always insane. 240 attack power. Holy cow, that's amazing. So anything to chat about? No. Because we won't have anything to chat about until we go to the volcano. Entertaining, isn't it? Just me wandering around picking up chest. I think this is the boss that's the Banshee. And if it is, this is going to be one of the tougher fights, to say the least. So let's save. Oops. Let's save. Alright, let's do this. Giant Whip. As you pull your treasure out of the chest, the Guardian of the Ice Cave appears. The dreaded Fallen Angel. Watch out. Fallen Angel approaches. Now the thing about this thing, Dreams of Paradise Lost, um, it acts very different between if it's uh, depending on if it's um, sane or insane. If it's insane, it does massive amounts of AOE damage. If it's um, if it's sane though, it does a lot of healing. So we'll see how this goes. Let's cancel all that. Four hits. That's good enough. Tech. Slow strike. Actually, no, no, don't do a slow strike. What am I thinking? Thor's call. You're good to go. Let's do regen all. You. Fragile. Okay, Thor's call. Regenerate. Hit. Okay. Now, berserk. Do you have anything you need to use, do you? Definitely not. So, Berserk it is. I don't know if slow actually worked. I wasn't paying attention. We'll do, um, poison. You can do tentacles. And... You can do lightning. Okay, got him. Got her poisoned. Tentacles. Yeah, see? Heals for 4,400 4, HP. So, we probably need to make her go insane. Alright. Berserk. Siren Call. Tentacles. Lightning. Stun and insane. Alright, 10,000. 29 combo. Wow, that's amazing. Let's do a death blow. Stun strike. Tentacles. Lightning. Stun strike for 4,000. 1,100. Yeah, this is what they do. When she's insane, she does hurt all, and look at that damage. Needless to say, we can't really survive this. So we kill her. There you go. And we're done with this place. So let's go ahead and equip October with the giant whip. All it is is it hits all enemies, so I'm not going to use it. No, using, no, I'd rather have the dark plus 50%. So it was kind of useless to fight that boss, but it was experience and money and all that good stuff. Speaking of, let's fight some of these guys. And just attack. Yay, more money. How are we on levels? And get in there. Oh, 
Hopefully we'll have enough money by the time we get done with the um, volcano. Because we still have two more characters just to pick up. Which is why I don't exactly want to grind here. I think I grinded here the moment I found this cave and found out that those wisps gave so much experience and money. And it made the volcano extremely easy. Simply because I was kind of over leveled at that point. Technically the max level is 40, but you can level beyond that and you'll just get constant stat ups and con uh, constant HP. One more, I mean a lot more than that. Attack. Starfish. Attack. Avoid. Okay. Attacker leveled. Uh, speed him. Plus 100% agility. Or plus 50% agility to everybody. We're gonna go uh, agility on everybody. Same strike. We can either make it hit twice or hit three times. Um, twice does more damage, but three gives you more combo. And for this, we can either go for vitality and will, or we can go with strength, magic, and agility. This one is HP, MP, or stats. We'll go with stats. And October is literally 681 experience away from a level. So we'll probably do one more before leaving the cave. Should be just over here somewhere. There it is. Alright, one more fight. Drass, no gold. Oh well. Dark Strike. Starfish. Attack. Void. Okay, sharp leveled. Um, Pen's Might is uh, pretty much reduces your strength by 50%, but increases your magic. It doubles your magic. And then we got Pierce, which ignores defenses. October leveled, we can upgrade uh, Snowstorm to hit multiple enemies, or we can make it hit a group. I'm gonna make it hit a group. You know, call it a hunch, but I think, just maybe, that we're gonna have ourselves a. Uh, dealing with a lot of fire enemies in the volcano. You know, just saying. Goblin Elder. 200 years old in Goblin years. And just attack you. Actually, what you can do is protect. Then you can do Starfish, you can attack, and you can just blast everybody. Just go to the end real quick and get healed up. And by healed up, I mean just get MP back. Okay. All right. Our next stop is the volcano, which is right over here. Conveniently enough. Hey, there's actually a, oh, that's probably just the uh, farm over there. Okay, okay. 
attack you. Stun strike, attack. I sense a dark power. Uh, a dark power dwells within this volcano. Probably a demon or a dragon. Maybe a demon dragon. Those poor villagers are in danger. We must save them. Looks like it's up to Cthulhu to save the day yet again. Okay, here we are. The volcano. Hmm. Hellhounds and pyro mummies. Or pyro- oh, sorry, pyro mummies. I'm thinking these guys are born with the water. Pyro me. Fire gives them strength. Hellhound. Picks on his monkey brother, the Heckhound. Not much to say about these guys. Let's go ahead and uh, protect. We can do flood, but that's probably not a good idea. Better off just using physical attacks. We can do snowstorm, but that's kind of the same issue. Instead, we're just going to blast everything with void. Wow, I think Umi's actually faster than Paws now. That's kind of funny. So yeah, despite the fact I upgraded Blizzard, I'm still just going to use Void, because it's just more reliable. Raptor, Magma Golem, and Baby Demons. Raptor, surprisingly adept at opening doors. Magma Golem, hard as, it, as an ingenious rock. Baby Demon, burps fire and poops brimstone. Okie dokie. Who should we target? Probably you. Pierce, what do you got? Stun strike. Void. All right, the baby demon said curse, and someone else did like a buff. And this thing's still alive. Whoa, 134 damage in one hit. Nice. And this thing's still alive. Alright, that problem solved. This place has 30, it starts out with 35 counters, so this is a pretty big place. And this isn't even in what this isn't even the last stage yet. Alright, pterodactyls and salamanders. When sleeping, makes for a good hang glider. Salamander, highly proficient at shmups. Okie dokie. Protect. Starfish. Attack. Oh, I completely didn't realize that um, since I upgraded my hit to uh, additional hit, my AoEs now hit for like twice, which is pretty good. Whoops, wrong buttons. So that's why he suddenly pauses doing a lot of AoE damage, more than I expected. Okay, all dead. And I have plenty of MP, so this is not going to be an issue right now. Despite the fact I'm spending 20 MP a battle. I am going around in circles. I'm pretty sure I just went in a very, very big circle. Alright, we'll do what we did here. Protect. Starfish. You. Attack you. Magic. Forward. Pause a double attack hits, uh, does more damage than the, uh, starfish. Fireblade. Gee, I wonder what this does. Fireblade. 250 attack power, but it adds fire to the attack. So needless to say, it's actually kind of useless in this, in this, uh, place. But I'll equip it anyway, because I'm not using sharp right now. And we still have a lot of, um, chest to find. Like this one. Alright, you guys are all grouped together. Starfish, attack. Void. Four potions. And we're two fifths of the way to getting uh, Umi her final dress. Hey, look, little green flames. Generally, if you find little green flames, you're probably going in the right direction. Okay. You can 
save your MP. Attack and we can also save your MP as well. So you guys are going to see a lot more random encounters as I fumble around and realize I probably already have found everything. Should I do pierce? That's probably a better idea. Freeze! Probably it's not going to do very much. Yeah, it definitely did nothing, because for one, pause goes too quickly to build up charge. Okay, we already went that way. I'm kinda, oh, we already went up that way too. I need to get back to the lower areas. Protect. Starfish. You know what? I think we're good. I'm gonna say we're good. We'll get better gear anyway in the next dungeon. Fire Fairy burns you if you don't listen. Neat. Alright. We're gonna have to deal with two of these guys now. resources is actually a kind of a threat at the moment, but it's not that big of a deal because I can literally just teleport back to town if I really need to, and, the, and then I can just finish off the rest of the encounters. Generally don't like doing that though, I'd rather find a save point. Alright, you attack him. You do starfish, you attack, you blow up everything. Oh yeah, chat. Pause. I don't know how to ask this, but are you, uh, you know, spit it out. Are you a boy alien or a girl alien? Ha 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 ha. In my race, there are no boys or girls. Each individual has their own unique gender. Intriguing. Zuh. What should we call you then? He will be fine. Okay. Pause is a boy kitty. Why do I even bother? Pause the boy kitty. There's a chest over there, and there's a chest over here. Volcanic Tomb. Gee, I wonder what this does. Increases magic. I'm gonna go ahead and equip it, because I'm not using wind spells. Using void. And I think I'm gonna have to do some backtracking. 
Okay. Protect. Starfish. Attack. Fireball. Overkill. Hey, there's a safe point over there. Problem is, is we haven't really found all the chests yet. That's a circle. <laughs> hey, something new. Kaboomster feels very misunderstood. Shouldn't need to worry about you. T-Rex. Not as strong as Z-Rex. I get it. Stun. Attack. At this point, I could just do lightning. You almost just... Oh, actually, it's better, better off just doing Dark Blast, to be honest. No stun. Whoa, Rampage. That's a uh, nasty AoE. Pretty sure that's from the one that's uh, right now insane. Probably uh, should do something about that. these things. Good to know. 20 battles left. And we just went in a circle. Not a big deal. Okay, more of you guys. uses kaboom. And again. Okay, that hurt a lot. Um, let's uh, try to kill these things a little bit faster, please. Wow, I'm about to die. Yay, we win. Barely. Okay, still going in a circle. Let's do some backtracking. Alright, more T-Rexes. Pierce, blind, attack, magic, fragile. Okay. Blind you, attack you. Rampage still hits, though. Alright, uh, we can learn Flame Strike, or we can get a stat up. Uh, this, we already know Flame Strike, but this upgrades it to doing, you know, that much damage. So we're gonna go ahead and upgrade it. Let me leveled. We can get 40 magic, or we can upgrade Starfish. We are upgrading Starfish. Alright, uh, pause leveled. We can get plus 100 uh, Strength, minus 50 Will, or we can get plus 100 Magic, minus 50 Vitality. So, we're gonna get Strength, Docker leveled, um, strength bonus, go ahead, on a single target or a group, we're going to do single target, and on we go. We never went up this way, did we? So, where's this lead? It leads to death. Just lots of death. Oh jeez, alright. Magic. Void. Have them all attack Cthulhu, hopefully. 
or not. Holy cow. Protect. Attack. Void again. Trap leveled. Stats. October leveled. HP and magic, or uh, magic and agility. I want agility. Always like going first. Just here. Two potions. I guess this takes me on like a big loop that leads to probably where I'm supposed to go anyway. Alright. Pierce. Blind strike. Attack. Fragile. Starfish. Attack you. Boy. Huh, you're still alive. That's not a point of plan right there. Starfish does do more damage than a uh, pause attack. At least for, unless, of course, we do buffs and stuff, then it'll probably change. Okay, we need to get onto those bridges there. Alright, it's more of this madness. Let's go with, um... Pierce. Stun. Attack. And Snowstorm. Pierce, uh, blind strike, attack, void. tunic. Which we already have. Awesome. Well, we can sell it. Oh, joy. More of you guys. left and I'm kind of going over time. So we'll go ahead and just save right here. When we come back next time I'll do the last 12 random encounters and then we'll continue on to the uh, the boss of this thing which is probably a demon dragon. So until then everyone I'm Dita Pressior and this is Cthulhu Saves the World. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys later.